Welcome to the Centennial High School 2020 Graduation Ceremony. Get ready to celebrate our graduates. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? My name is Keenan Campbell, and I'm the proud principal of Centennial High School. On behalf of the 2020 class, the faculty and staff, I'd like to welcome you to this once in a lifetime event. Welcome to our 2020 graduation ceremony. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge our special guests who are watching and celebrating with us tonight. Ms. Julia Bernath, Fulton County School Board member, District 7. Ms. Katha Stewart, Fulton County Board member, District 1, and Dr. Mike Looney, Superintendent of Fulton County Schools. I also want to acknowledge the principals of the Centennial Cluster. Ms. Lauren Simon from Haynesbridge Middle. Ms. Jennifer Cassidy from Holcomb Bridge Middle. Dr. Harjay Dumas from Hillside Elementary. Ms. Nicole Boyd from River Eaves Elementary. Dr. Ritu Aju from Northwood Elementary, Mr. Matthew Donahue from River Eaves Elementary, and Mr. Martin Newhouse from Barnwell Elementary. Our senior class sponsors are Ms. Patel and Ms. Skelton, and our graduation coordinator is Ms. Prelak. I gratefully acknowledge our staff and faculty who have educated, supported, and encouraged our seniors to become the graduates they are today. Last but certainly not least, I would like to acknowledge the parents, family members, and friends who have provided unconditional love and support to the seniors we celebrate this evening. To our graduates, words cannot express how proud I am of you. The class of 2020 is truly special. This year, our world experienced an event unlike any other. It changed how we learn, it changed how we worked and socialized, yet the class of 2020 persevered. The resilience demonstrated by this class is what makes you so special. I'm proud to announce that this special class has earned over $6 million in academic and athletic scholarships. Centennial students will be attending colleges and pursuing careers all across the country. These locations span from California to New York. I am also proud to report that we have graduates who have committed to serve our country by joining our armed forces. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for serving our country. Class of 2020, you are ready. You are ready to embark on your career and college opportunity. You are true pioneers. You are able to navigate through a very difficult situation in our history and come out successful on the other side. It is your persistence and resilience that will serve you well in the future. I join your parents today in expressing that we are proud of your accomplishments. We cannot wait to see what you accomplish in the future. I would like to share with you the Henry David Thoreau quote that has been shared on graduation stages across the world. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Your best days are still ahead of you. 
Congratulations, class of 2020. As the superintendent of Fulton County Schools, I hereby certify that all members present for the class of 2020 have fulfilled the requirements established by the Fulton County Board of Education and are therefore eligible to receive their diploma and certificates. Senior Class President, Nina Rankin. Hello, families, relatives, and guests. My name is Nina Rankin, and I am not only honored, but humbled to be a representative as class president for two years. The class of 2020 has gone through numerous trials and tribulations. However, in the end, I can confidently say that 20 still comes out on top. Starting as a freshman, we all quickly realized the reality of our place in the high school caste system. We were freshmen, rushing to make it to class on time, being on top of all of our schoolwork, and figuring out what we could do to get involved. With beaming eyes, we would watch as the intimidating upperclassmen would make their way through the halls, dreaming of when it would be our turn. As we blinked, we became those upperclassmen, not being booed at pep rallies anymore, wearing our class jerseys proud and loud, and making posters to embarrass the juniors. There seems to be a culture, not only at Centennial, but in most high schools, that you earn your spot to be an upperclassman. I have watched the excitement of senior week, of figuring out where everyone will go to college, senior spring break plans, and of course the inevitable water gun wars be taken away in an instant. Along with seeing countless Snapchat stories of tears when finding out what we worked so hard for, what we had earned, was being taken right from under us. However, I have also watched us all grow, not only physically, but emotionally, pushing ourselves to do things we never thought we would do. As we embrace the uncertainty and trying times, and most importantly, come together stronger than we ever have before, although some can't describe why the class of 2020 is so special, I believe I can. The first time I noticed it was when as sophomores, we threw up flour at a pep rally and had no care in the world of the repercussions that would soon come from the upperclassmen. We did not care because we were so proud of who we were that it did not matter. The class of 2020 are go-getters. The class of 2020 does not hesitate to encourage one another in times of need. And above all, the class of 2020 has never given up, even when all the cards are stacked against us. We never anticipated our high school journey ending this way so abruptly, not realizing that our last day of class, walking down the halls of Centennial, seeing our favorite teachers, and trying to brush the traffic after school would be the end. Through it all, we did not only experience firsts, but we were the first. The first to ever have the stadium lights turned on for all of the seniors. The first to have a memorial made of <laughs> only solo cups, and the first to really understand what it means to lean on each other. This class has worked tirelessly to get to where we are today. Have we worked harder than any other class that has come before us? Or will after? No, that wouldn't be fair to say. What I believe is fair to say is that we have overcome more than any other class has come before us and will after us. Even before the virus, we have a joke that circulates within the class, that traditions always seem to change when it's our turn to actually do them. I don't think anyone can disagree with that now. I am so proud of each and every single one of us, because even then, we have always and will always come out stronger on the other side. We earned this. We have not only overcome every single barrier, struggle, or trial that's been thrown on us time and time again, but we have never responded in hate, but in joining together and loving each other which is what it truly means to be a knight. So here's to the uncertainty that we know so well. May it come and welcome us with open arms, because in the end, it only makes us stronger. To the class of 2020, we did it. Before I go, I would like to show our endless gratitude to the administration, staff, and teachers as they have helped us to be where we are today. For teachers who wake up early for study sessions, club sponsors who put in their own time and resources to create an experience that is as wonderful as possible, and to our new principal, Mr. Campbell. Although this is Mr. Campbell's first graduation at Centennial, nonetheless, he has never stopped fighting for us from his first day of school, which happened to be our last. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all you have done, and thank you to Centennial for providing countless memories and experiences that we truly could not get at any other school. As we say, once a night, always a night, and I can confidently say our best days are ahead. Class of 2020, Honor Graduate Grace Dulian. Stop looking in the rearview mirror. You're not going that way. Not too long ago, a friend of mine was upset. He sat in the driver's seat of his car and decided to throw an absolute fit. He bucked in a seat and stomped on his brake pedal and punched nothingness, angry at the very air around him. Unfortunately, the punch caught the corner of the rearview mirror, knocking it loose. It dangled precariously by a single wire, much like the extremely loose tooth of a kindergartner hanging on for dear life. I remember thinking that we had to get that fixed. He couldn't possibly drive home that way. 
His headlights worked perfectly. His windshield was intact. There was no mechanical issues with the car. He had everything that he needed to navigate his way forward. And yet, we spent precious time reattaching that mirror so that he could see what was behind him. We, the class of 2020, were born in the shadows of 9-11, and we are graduating in the wake of a global pandemic, a virus that can only be seen through the lens of an electron microscope and whose worst enemy is hand soap, brought our entire world to a screeching halt. I see each of you, my classmates and friends, and I'm confident that as a class, we have no intention of letting anyone simply wash their hands of us. Our generation has been largely shaped by the concept of going viral. Admittedly, we had absolutely no clue just how seriously the world would take our suggestion. We should, class of 2020, do exactly that. We should absolutely go viral, but not from our TikTok views or Insta likes. We should explode from this place, infecting everyone in our path with inspiration and innovation and collaboration. Unworried by what is behind us, we should attack our world in such a way that we leave it forever changed. My brother loves a good inspirational quote, and it just so happens that one of his favorite quotes comes from the great philosopher Rocky Balboa. In his trademark Philly draw, Rocky gave the following advice. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Keep moving forward. 20, our senior year didn't turn out exactly as we planned. But that's just one short chapter and what is shaping up to be quite a life story. Our rearview mirrors are clouded with the dust from collapsing towers and N95 masks but we're not going that way. We're gonna keep moving forward because that's how winning is done. Our windshields are intact, the view ahead of us is ours to determine, and that is good news because after all, we've got 2020 vision. Congratulations, fellow Centennial graduates. We did it. Now let's go viral. Class of 2020, honor graduate, Fiona Lyle. Attempting to put together a final bittersweet goodbye that cradles us into the next stage of our life and pats us on the back for how we've made it this far, seems like an impossible task to perfect. There are so many things and people that must be commemorated. So many countless hours of hard work and tested limits that deserve to be honored. Us making it to this exact point should acknowledge our immunity to any and all obstacles. There's been so much pressure in trying to put together a final goodbye because it must be one that leaves both you and I with peace and encouragement in our transition from this milestone to the next. So, class of 2020, as I give this speech, I want you to think back to your freshman self. Think about how different that person is from who you are today. Now think about middle school you, then elementary you. Think about how much you've learned and grown from these previous versions of yourselves. Every experience had, decision made, and hardship faced, and how they all equally contributed to leading you here to this exact moment, this exact milestone. You should all be so proud of yourselves. Not only you, but your freshman, middle, and elementary school selves as well. Because together, you did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. We made it. We trudged, skipped, ran, and crawled through every moment before now and collectively reached a shared point, recognizing our hard work and successes. It's hard to believe that at one point we were just freshmen. We walked through the doors in Centennial on that first day of ninth grade, both nervous and excited, so naive to the fact that we had no idea what was coming next. The different paths we'd take, people we'd meet, experiences we'd have, and lessons we'd learn. We were not only opening the doors to Centennial on that first day of ninth grade, we are opening the doors to a completely new chapter of our lives. Adults always tell you to cherish your youth as a warning to appreciate and protect the precious moments of innocence. They tell you to cherish that freedom because life won't always be that way. It may have not seemed like worthy or valuable advice back in ninth grade, when most of us couldn't conceptualize our ideas outside of our personal existence. It's likely we didn't as 10th or 11th graders either, and possibly not even as 12th graders until now, as we're rounding the very end. Only now do I realize that those younger years are to be cherished, and that rounding the end of childhood came far more abruptly than expected, and is much sadder than initially prepared for. It seems silly to get cold feet from crossing a finish line, especially when that finish line marks the end of a marathon in which you made it very apparent that you wanted nothing more than to finish. But now that you're almost there, you start to think back to the beginning. You smiled the parts where you felt weak but overcame, the parts where you felt strong, and all of the little victories in between. 
You begin to think back to the people who cheered you on, passing water cups at the mile markers. Your friends, family, teachers, the resources that kept you going at your weakest moments. Now, feeling insecure and vulnerable, you're confronted with the overwhelming thought, will it not cross the line with me? How could I possibly cross the line on my own? I don't know what comes next. But you keep your eyes straight ahead and keep moving your feet because in reality, it was you and you all along. You were the one that kept pushing no matter how bad you wished to stop. You did it. But then you smiled with a newfound confidence and awareness as you also remembered that those people's purpose along the way was not to give you water and cheer you on, but they were there because they were simply motivated by their belief in you to finish. So hold your head high with determination to pass that finish line in honor of not only yourself, but of everyone that contributed to leading you to this moment. Point A to point B, all in preparation for point C. Acknowledge these cherished years that went by too fast and too slow all at the same time with a profound gratitude and lift your head with pride because you did it and you are ready for whatever comes next. No matter what you went through, the trials and tragedies you faced, you survived your high school years and you made it. With our class's recognition lacking conventional circumstances in our senior year ending so abruptly, it may appear that we lost our chance to make ourselves known, a chance to declare our achievements under a well-deserved spotlight. However, I have found with a beautiful sense of peace that no matter what obstacles we've had to overcome as a class, we have continuously proved to do it with astounding grace and maturity. This in itself commemorates and rewards our misfortunes. It has given us the strength to adapt, overcome, and persist despite all the barriers. We have proven to be limitless, unstoppable. 2020 is the class of innovators, problem solvers, and adapters. We've made ourselves known and will continue to do so as we each go on to live at our future successes and achievements. We are the class of 2020 and we made it. Class of 2020 Salutatorian Sophia Woodrow. Well, class of 2020, we sure know how to leave with a bang. For those of you who don't know me, please bear with me through the beginning as I'm gonna go through all my thank yous up front. Thank you to everyone at Centennial High School who supported me for the last four years. All my amazing teachers, my counselor, Ms. Peart, and my IB coordinator, Dr. Pruitt. Thank you to my fantastic friends, the best friends imaginable, Ethan Asher, Hudson King, Mabel Tay, Katie Kelly, and Charlotte Larson. Thank you to my big brother for inspiring me every day. Thank you to my dad for being my hero. And thank you to my mom. Mom, you've always encouraged me to pursue my dreams no matter what happens. And I want you to know that my biggest dream of all was always growing up to be just like you. Thanks for being my best friend. Okay, whew, okay, the waterworks are coming, so I'm gonna stop with the thank yous because instead of being on a stage far away from you people, I'm on camera, so you will see my mascara running and it will not be pretty. To be fully transparent, y'all, I really don't know what the speech is. I had no idea what to do. I tried looking up some quizlets to see if there were some salutatorian coronavirus like tips and tricks, but nothing came up. And then when you look up salutatorian coronavirus speech, again, nothing comes up. I found a few TikToks, but they weren't very good, so I just kept going and decided to really brainstorm. And by brainstorm, I mean watch Netflix for 12 hours straight and procrastinate writing even more. It was while watching Netflix, though, that I stumbled upon Riverdale. And I was like, oh, okay, my Watch Again page is really blessing me here, because that was a good show. At the beginning, it was just about new friends in a new town. And yeah, they were solving murder mysteries some days but other days they were going to first pep rallies and homecoming dances. They were adjusting to the chaos around them as we were adjusting to the chaos around us. It was an easy show to like as a freshman, as the characters were both resisting the change and accepting it, we were too. It was in sophomore year when we really hit our stride. We free really made our way into the good place. We didn't get booed at pep rallies anymore. We weren't the cringy freshmen. We started to make our lifelong friendships, find our passions, and we even learned to drive. And there were some romances worthy of the Hallmark Channel. But best of all, it was the least important year for our GPAs, so we were really just cruising. And even though every day wasn't as perfect as all of them, for example, when Mr. Harhe almost set me on fire in chemistry class, the year was a breeze. That's why it was so startling at the beginning of junior year to realize with the college and SAT apparently around the corner that we were actually not in the good place. We were in the bad place. Honestly, junior year is a bit of a blur. I just remember a lot of late nights staring at my computer, wishing I was Hermione Granger and that I could use magic to write my essays. But then the essays didn't get written and I just stared at my computer anyway. 
There were a lot of tears and there was a lot of stress. That much I can remember. I look back now and I'm like, wow, I can't believe I made it through that sleepless night. Did I really run on 30 minutes of sleep and then take three tests that day? And I did, startling as it may be. Everyone was telling us that we had to take standardized tests and apply to college, and suddenly our lives were starting for real. And that was a lot of stress to deal with. But eventually, we made it through, because we make it through everything. We're the class of 2020. It would be remiss of me to explain how we made it through, though. We were staring at that light at the end of the tunnel that read, Seniors 2020. I know we were all expecting High School Musical, and it is with immense regret that I acknowledge we got The Walking Dead instead. For that reason, I would like to say, though, with an equal amount of hopefulness, that this is not the end. We will see each other again. We will be together. We conquered every challenge junior year threw at us, and we can now, because the class of 2020 is, in one word, unstoppable. If we can't walk, we march. If we can't speak, we sing. And if we can't throw confetti, we all know that we throw flour instead. The best thing my dad ever taught me while teaching me to drive was that even if you hit a roadblock, Google Maps will reroute you. And that's exactly what's happening now. We're in the process of being rerouted. And even though this road we're traveling is winding and we're unsure of its end, we are embarking upon it together. And that's why I say with absolute certainty, no matter what happens, everyone, this is our roaring 20s and we will make it through. There's one more show in my Watch Again section that I want to share with you, or more specifically, a few lines that made their way into every episode. So no one told you life was going to be this way. Your job's a joke. You're broke. Your love life's DOA. It's like you're all, all, always stuck in second gear. When it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year, I'll be there for you. Class of 2020, we've been there for each other before, and now that the rain is pouring, we must remain hopeful. We must be there for each other again. Once a friend, always a friend. And once a night, always a night. Thanks for an unforgettable four years together. Class of 2020, valedictorian Mabel Tay. Hello, class of 2020. I certainly never imagined speaking to all of you through a screen. I was thinking more along the lines of a hot summer evening with the sun setting in the background. But here we are. Therefore, I would first like to say a huge thank you to all the administrators and staff who pulled off an unconventional virtual graduation with such a short time frame and under such strenuous circumstances. Additionally, I would never have gotten the chance to speak to all of you without an incredibly strong support system. First, I must mention our incredible teachers with, who all understand the importance of knowledge for young minds and who all strive to impart a desire to learn in all of us. Thank you to my friends for always lending an ear to my worries and giving me a genuine laugh. To my older brother, Justin, thank you for all the advice, the good and the bad that you've given me. You've been more helpful than you give yourself credit for. To my dad, thank you for being the literal definition of unconditional love and support. And finally, to my mom, I could thank you for all the times you've pushed me to be my best, but I am most grateful for this lesson, that happiness and joy comes first always. When writing this very speech, I stared at an empty page for hours, then hours quickly turned into days, and I gave into something way too common to all of us seniors, intense procrastination. And perhaps I was too distracted by the boundless entertainment that is my Instagram Explore page. But if I had to be honest, the real reason why I kept pushing this speech further into the future is because of the pressure. Being valedictorian, it has certain implications. It's an award that celebrates years of high-level academic achievement. And trust me, I poured over countless other valedictorian speeches, trying to understand just what I was supposed to capture with my words. What I took away was that I somehow needed a grand epiphany and that I must pass on wisdom to my senior class. However, the more I racked my brain for this supposed insight that I had gleaned from my four years of high school, the more I realized I had little to say. Because, of course, I have stories of late night persistence, failed tests, lessons from childhood. But the specific struggles that I've lived through, 
the ways I've learned to fight those aforementioned challenges. They've helped me, but they won't necessarily be relevant to every single one of you. After all, it's impossible for anyone to know the entirety of our senior class, and except for people who have a direct connection to me, if you haven't left to grab a snack or muted me while waiting for yourself to appear on screen, then I applaud you. Because for as much effort as I have put into school, that has apparently qualified me to speak to you all. Others might have exerted the exact same on the arts, spending hours and hours in a studio or years learning an instrument. Others still might have chosen sports with adrenaline pumping and a win on the horizon. For some, their budding careers were paramount to their lives, and they have now found something to dedicate themselves to. I have found that our individual experiences are our best teachers. It's certainly not the unsolicited advice that we get from strangers during a lengthy martyr ride, and it's not any revelation that comes from me, who is at best a mere acquaintance to many of you. And it's not even the guidance that we get from beloved friends, families, and teachers. Because while their counsel is welcomed and valuable to listen to, never underestimate trusting in your own successes and failures. After all, ultimately, real change comes from ourselves. And as our time in high school comes to an end, I hope we can take this valuable time, which we now have so much of, to reflect exactly on this question. How are you different from the person who walked through the halls of Centennial four years ago? I know the answer is probably more than we ever expected. And it's crazy to think, we still have so much to learn from life. We are barely, just barely young adults. No one can be sure of anything that will happen to us that is more evident now than ever before. For most of us, we one day awoke to a world more confusing than one thought possible. Baking cookies for my best friend's birthday, now an extremely convoluted plan involving masks, gloves, and each person taking turns grabbing one cookie from the middle of a social distance appropriate circle. So yes, we're not sure what will happen to us in the next week, let alone the next few years. After all, each of us will have our own battles to win and to lose, which certainly sounds daunting indeed. But it's through our shared experience, as friends, as classmates, as knights, that gives me confidence. In our time together as the class of 2020, I have watched us cultivate the strength and the adaptability that will see us through the next four years and beyond. I am proud of us all for completing this era of our lives. I cannot wait to see what we will all accomplish next. Because even in times like this, and perhaps especially in times like this, I feel confident in saying that our best days are in fact ahead of us. Go Knights. Each year, the faculty and administration selects two students as the recipients of the Atlanta Journal Constitution Cup and the Faculty Cup. These students are judged to be truly well-rounded and represent the best in academic, athletic, and extracurricular activities. The Atlanta Journal Cup is presented to the student who received the highest number of votes from the faculty. And the Faculty Cup is presented to the students with the next highest number of votes. This year's recipient of the Faculty Cup is Jair Madrigalis. This year's recipient of the Atlanta Journal Cup is Catherine Gray. Congratulations to you both. One thousand three hundred and eighty-one days ago, we walked these halls for the first time. Little did we know what opportunities were just beyond our grasp. One thousand three hundred and eighty-one days ago, we walked into four years of growth, community, and self-discovery. For thirty-three thousand and one hundred forty-four hours, we have released our creative minds and developed everlasting friendships. Over time, Centennial became our home, a place of challenge and comfort. From Friday night lights to early morning workouts, we were always striving to do our best. Wherever we end up, Centennial will always be our home. Once a night, always a night. Even though we faced many hurdles along the way, we knew we could finish strong. This is not the way we wanted it to end, but it's still a new beginning for us. 
As we move on to bigger things, Centennial will always put a song in our heart. Thank you, Centennial, for everything that you've done for us. Now watch what the class of 2020 will do. We are the class of 2020. 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 As a member of the Fulton County Board of Education, I am pleased to certify that all students presented for their high school diploma have earned all the rights and privileges associated with Fulton County Schools Diploma in the state of Georgia. Parents, relatives, friends, and faculty, we are proud to present the graduating class of 2020. Honor graduate, Max William Abel. Honor graduate, Sophia Adetun Moreniki Adesanya. Honor graduate, Emily Adaderin. Kisi Marini Alba Saceda. Omar Bader Al Habal. Honor graduate, Isabella Ray Alario. Honor graduate, Nicole Lynn Alario. Luis Alejandro Alvarez Pirre. Jasmine Ali Maldonado. Honor graduate, Benjamin Amastal Kulach. Luis Enrique Amato Rivera. Jalen Kisan Ambroselli. Zoraya Kiona Ampi. Malik Joquez Anderson. Viano John Apena. Honor graduate, Matthew Rodney Armbruster. Honor graduate, Felix Arzate. Honor graduate, Ethan Meyer Asher. Honor graduate, Ayulua Deborah Asonibare. Andrew Lane Atkinson. Honor graduate, John Paul Atkinson. Stuart Felipe Avesillas. Honor graduate, Eric Rhetoric Baham Jr. Shikwana Anisha L. Bajard. Caleb Joseph Barrera. Tarina and Jolie Beavers. Daniel Patrick Beck. Honor graduate, Josie Kareen Beekman. Honor graduate, Hope Begashaw. Honor graduate, Alexis Danielle Bender. Ethan S. Bendor. Drake Walker Bieber. Honor graduate, Tate Maxwell Bielenberg. Honor graduate, Alexandra Grace Black. Wazir Blackman Thomas. Lily Ann Blair. Charles Wesley Boone. Honor graduate, Vienne Francesca Borg. Honor graduate, Sarita Botero Martinez. Michael Dylan Bourgeois. Honor graduate, Olivia Shea Bowers. Robert Camden Bowers. Honor graduate, Lana Aaron Bradford. Kiara Lachey Bradley. Montino Joel Bradley. Gwendolyn Taylor Brady. Honor graduate, Ella Grace Brannan. Terrence Demond Bratton. Honor graduate, Elise Golden Brinkman. Eli Benjamin Brogdon. Marquise Brooks. Honor graduate, Meredith Kendall Brown. Morgan Elise Brown. Mary Caitlin Buck. Honor graduate, Gabrielle Lauren Boudet. Alexander Lorenzo Burke. Honor graduate, Mackenzie Lynn Camera. Lane Anthony Campbell. Honor graduate, Susan Amy Louisa Canella. Honor graduate, Vivian B. Marie Canella. Honor graduate, Rachel Elizabeth Cannon. Jesus Isaiah Carratini. 
Rocio del Cielo Carbajal Fernandez, Jackson Riley Carey, Victor Alfonso Carmona, Bilal Marcel Carroll, Samira Ana Carter Morel, Emily Elizabeth Castaneda, Olga Carolina Castellanos Cruz, Abigail Castillo Hernandez, Nayeli Castillo Hernandez, Esther Borges Cesa, Honor Graduate Ava Challenger, Anique Pascal Charles, Honor Graduate Lorelai G. Ann Chisholm, Mebalin Yadira Cifuentes Vasquez, Victoria Florence Clay, Honor Graduate Sydney Vanessa Cody, Honor Graduate Sarah Beth Cohen, Gabrielle Lashante Collins, Jackson Martin Cordes, Honor Graduate Victoria Elena Cortes, Honor Graduate Jolie Craven, Honor Graduate Liberty Golden Crawford, Honor Graduate Hannah Ryan Craves, Nedalid Leila Cruz Alvaredo, Luis Angel Cueva Sarmenta, Honor Graduate Jayla Kennedy Curtis, Leo Damien, Angelique Simone Davenport Cromwell, Honor Graduate Taylor Lee Davidson, Maya Simone Davis, Ahmad Jamal Dawson. Honor Graduate Florencia Perez Rosas de Felipe. Selena Delgado Mejia. Victoria Alexis Demons. Honor Graduate Ellery Page Denman. Honor Graduate Keely June DeWitt. Honor Graduate Allison Diaz Fernandez. Messiah Kaleem Jaquan Dixon. Whitney Lynn Dixon. Honor Graduate Jelaine LaCole Downs. James Mitchell Doyle. Kayla Madison Drexler. Charlie Wools Dulcio. Honor Graduate Anna Grace Dulian. Honor Graduate Peyton Wilder Edenfield. Carrie Albert Ware Edmondson. Honor Graduate Benjamin Kenneth Engel. Edward Espinoza. Brandon Esteban Tolentino. Alexis Estrada Orozco. Dana Olivia Atkins. Joanna Elizabeth Fairchild. Frederick Lamar Fairley. Pablo Andres Fernandez. Honor Graduate Jennifer Michelle Flanagan. Faith Oluwabanmi Flaveni. Mackenzie Flanagan. Honor Graduate Ellery Bronwyn Floyd. Honor Graduate Giovanna Grace Ford. Noah Thomas Ford. Jacob McCain Fordham. Honor Graduate Sarah Friedrichs. Emilio Alejandro Galindo Pulido. Leobardo Gallegos Pineda. Kevin Gallman. Honor Graduate Nicole Leah Ganelin. Kimberly Joyce Gaeta. Honor Graduate K. Ann Susan Jeffrod. Honor Graduate Grace Elizabeth Geiger. Nika Gottby. Honor Graduate Gabrielle Gibson. Haley Lauren Goldstein. Vassan Golastoni. Daniel Joseph Gonzalez. Fernando Gonzalez. 
Honor graduate Reese Wilt Goodsight. Joseph Derek Goodwin. Naira Granados Aguilar. Honor graduate Catherine Clausen Gray. Honor graduate Colton Alexander Green. Honor graduate Christopher Miles Gresham. Honor graduate Margaret Addison Grico. Melissa Liliana Guararrama. Johnny Magdaleno Guerra Colunga. Honor graduate Gustavo Guoso Gomez. Divine Destiny Guthrie. William Rudolph Haas. Honor graduate William Ryan Haberstock. Wesley Baines Hall. Honor graduate Lillian Halpin. Honor graduate Molly Carol Hammond. Cody Lane Hammock. Hannah Noel Hammonds. Honor graduate Eleanor Lynn Hancock. Honor graduate Ariel Harper. Josiah Ajani Harris. Quinn Woodrow Harrison. Hunter Mead Hastings. Jessica Danielle Hawkins. Honor graduate Alexander Mark Hayes. Honor graduate Chloe Grace Renee Healton. Honor graduate Catherine Denise Healy. Honor graduate Bailey Lane Hebermill. Sarah Hernandez. Leslie Hernandez Mendoza. Honor graduate Talia Grace Herrera. Honor graduate Megan Rose Huer. Honor graduate Angelica Rain Hill. Honor graduate Mary Grace Hill. Carmen Sarah Hoffman. Esteban Ruben Homs. Justin David Horning. Ali Rebecca Howard. Andrew Philip Howery. Honor graduate Marjorie Ferreria Sue. Honor graduate Mabel Jin Tay. Jalen Elise Hurt. Honor graduate Molly Scott Heiser. Emily Tanya Ibarra. Honor graduate Jumana Amjad Ibrahim. William Martin Jackson. Honor graduate Matthew Aaron Jacobson. Honor graduate Elena Yurkovic. Kevin Jimenez. Yannette Jimenez Ramos. Anaya Janae Johnson. Honor graduate Naomi Hollis Jones. Honor graduate Caleb Braxton Jordan. Honor graduate Manaya Brianne Jordan. Marcelo Sean Lee Joseph. Abdullah Isaiah Ka. Honor graduate Jaden Casey Karwaski. Sam Elliott Kaufman. Venezia Adele Kazadi. Honor graduate Lydia Kathleen Kelly. Honor graduate Adam Shraf Ketchum. Alina Lily Kalaf. Honor graduate Hari Kim. Honor graduate Nolan Henry Kin. Honor graduate Hudson Lennon King. Abigail Jamatia Kipkogi. Alexis Marie Knight. Kayla Jaina Knight. Honor graduate Vance Michael Kruljak. Jalen Patrick Cruz. Honor graduate Krizel Faye Sampson Kwan. Honor graduate Samantha Sue Leahy. Madison Faith Lambert. Honor graduate Amanda Wierenfeld Larson. Honor graduate Jerry Anton Latvikoski. 
Honor Graduate Deborah Formose Lawson. Kayla Gabrielle Leal. Honor Graduate Beatrice Catherine Lee. Trayvon Marquise Lee. Honor Graduate Anna Grace Leftwich. Honor Graduate Diwali Maya Lagore. Honor Graduate Laura Jane Lesh. Lamika Brene Lavardi. Honor Graduate Jenny Ting Yu. Alexis Lopez Torres. Hilder Lopez y Lopez. Eddie James Lowe. Andres Alejandro Lozada Alvarado. Honor Graduate Jalen Lucas Trejo. Honor Graduate Fiona Milena Lyle. Ian Faswat McDonald. Wiley Foster Mack. Honor Graduate Jair Alexander Madrigales. Honor Graduate Jake Ryan Mahood. Abdul Rasak Sheku Mansare. Honor Graduate Olivia Nicole Martin. Honor Graduate Gisela Martinez Fuentes. Jocelyn Maya. Honor Graduate William James McCall. Honor Graduate Charles Hugh McCartney. Honor Graduate Vaughn Adeline McCavey. Arian Adrian McCondishi. William Jacob McRory. Honor Graduate Sarah Elizabeth McDonough. Honor Graduate Brandon Scott McGinnis. Honor Graduate Emily Marie McHenry. Mackay Merrick McKenney. Honor Graduate Sarahi Medrano. Honor Graduate Elijah Max Medwed. Honor Graduate Alejandro Mejia Rangel. Honor Graduate Jayla Simone Melvin. Carter Sebastian Mensing. Keon Laharban Merritt Sams. Honor Graduate Robert Jacob Merrill. Madison Lee Mesco. Honor Graduate Hannah Lily Middleton. Heaven Mitchell. Nicholas Liam Mitchell. Halimat Abedemi Momo. Honor Graduate Nia Ecolia Montgomery. Caroline Grace Moody. Honor Graduate Antonio Martin Inshong Morales. Leslie Moreno. Braden James Moritz. Lincoln Rydell Morgan. Honor Graduate Nicholas Joseph Morris. Honor Graduate Ryan Alexander Morris Scott. Anissa Michelle Muhammad. Honor Graduate Arya Nazari Foroshani. Honor Graduate Sumir Priya Nimani. Honor Graduate Bao Trung Nguyen. Honor Graduate Hai Sa Min Nguyen. Honor Graduate Jimmy Min Win. Honor Graduate Lily Win. Gabrielle Alex Andrea Noel. Honor Graduate Nilufer Nuri. Honor Graduate Kiara Putri Nur Salim. Honor Graduate Renata Ocampo. Honor Graduate Maxwell Nathaniel Oglesby. Emily Victoria Diaz Oldham. Honor Graduate Julia Jean O'Neill. Honor Graduate Patrick Martin O'Neill. Adeyemi Opanuga. Elizabeth Carolyn Ortega. Anas Ordi. Zachary Storm Fadia. Matthew Hunter Pages. Dante Amari Parrish. Honor Graduate Ashley Nimish Patel. Isaiah Laurent Patterson. 
Honor Graduate Lindsey Grace Pauls, Marley Elizabeth Payne, Takaira Peacock, Zulma Dennis Perez Alvarez, Enrique Perez Bueno, Morgan Kayla Perkinson, Joseph Alessandro Fon, Aiden Aaron Penango Sanchez, Fabian Zedanes Penango Sanchez, Honor Graduate William Donald Player, Edith Ann Petit, Honor Graduate Tristan Connor Potts, Edward Dalton Purser, DL Elena Puzio, Honor Graduate Michael John Quiros, Honor Graduate Pratham Rajdev, Honor Graduate Ethan Jacob Ramalia, Marisa Ramek, Peyton Juliana Randall, Honor Graduate Jennifer Elizabeth Rangel Santos, Honor Graduate Nina Nikhail Rankin, Honor Graduate Elijah Saran Retour, Isabella Hayden Rennell, Scott Andrew Reveron, Honor Graduate Trent Richard Reveron, Honor Graduate Alan Scott Reyes, Anali Rose Reza, Eric Jordan Rhodes, Malia Gabrielle Richards, Honor Graduate Angelina Inui Richardson, Joseph Richter, Honor Graduate Evan Chase Riley, Honor Graduate Samuel Carl Risi, Honor Graduate Jimmy Brandon Rivas Granados, Honor Graduate Isabel Elaine Roberts, Brandon Michael Robertson, Honor Graduate Emily Robles Rico, Josue Alejandro Rodriguez Lumbreras, Honor Graduate Alexander Charles Rogi, Madison McBride Rogers, Malika Arlene Rolls, Sedmaya Natanya Ross, Everett Alexander Roxbury, Honor Graduate Jacob Malachi Rubenstein, Jose Ricardo Rubio, Carlos Gonzalez Ruiz, Honor Graduate Marley Rusden, Mahib Al Rahman Said, Tristan Salamanca, Brian Francisco Salazar Vasquez, Cole Jerome Salton, Jacob Matthew Maple Samnick, Honor Graduate Amanda Marinho Sanchez, Angel Santiago Reyes, Omar Santiago Reyes, Honor Graduate Nathan Edward Sayers, Honor Graduate Ellie Margaret Schmidt, Alec Leeton Schrader, Patrick Joseph Schroeder, Rebecca Mackenzie Scott, Brandon Aaron Sider, Honor Graduate Boya Andreina Sepulveda, Valerie Lysette Cerna, Brandon Alexander Sewell, Natalia Badrina Sharp, Richard Daniel Shaw, Emily Danielle Schindelar. Honor Graduate Heideko Kevin Silva. Honor Graduate Samuel Resende Martin Silva. Wayans De Simeon. Honor Graduate Kayla Lynn Singer. Honor Graduate Yashpreet Singh. Simone Cherie Sloan. Marissa Janae Smart. Dela Elise Smith, 
Honor Graduate Emily Catherine Smith. Honor Graduate Sydney Camille Smith. Mariana Azucena Soledad Ramirez. Kaden Idris Solomon. Zaira Nakinra Spain Balu. Honor Graduate Logan Shea Speckhart. Timothy Parker Sperrier. Andrew Thomas Steltonpole. Honor Graduate Summer Renee Stockard. Elijah Mar Strader. Honor Graduate Megan Alley Strickland. Kyron Dominique Stuckman. Joshua Thomas Steyer. Patrick Jakari Sue. Honor Graduate Ashley Aaron Sullivan. Honor Graduate Garrison Chandra Svey. Honor Graduate Zachary Barame Svey. Honor Graduate Callan Jessica Swigart. Elizabeth Bay Zimandera. Honor Graduate Robert John Tavani. Honor Graduate Abby Blythe Tefeteller. Honor Graduate Brian Thomas Tefeteller. Kevin John Thomas Garcia. Sean Danny Thomas Garcia. Ashanti Anastasia Thompson. Honor Graduate Camden Wesley Thompson. Honor Graduate Diamond Lillian Thompson. Diere Javon Thompson. Honor Graduate Suyani Livian Tibola. Christian H. Tinch. Adieres Esther Torres Ortiz. Honor Graduate Anna Louise Townsend. Cody Alexander Trellis. Honor Graduate Lucy Louise Turner. Honor Graduate Coleman Brody Underhill. Honor Graduate Santos Ismael Valladares Hernandez. Honor Graduate Amber Shea Van. Honor Graduate Jose Antonio Vargas. Joanna Georgina Velasquez Cabrera. John Anthony Veshi. Honor Graduate Alexis Rose Vigliata. Honor Graduate Jimmy Eduardo Villalobo Serrada. Rioberto Villanueva. Xavier Angel Villanueva. Chicozi Quende Walker Jr. Honor Graduate Haley Noel Walker. Honor Graduate Margaret Ann Wall. Andrew Frank Ward. Honor Graduate Catherine Perry Ward. Sarah Kate Ward. Olivia Leanne Weidman. Ryan Andrew Wells. Honor Graduate Nora Murphy Winger. Honor Graduate Andrew James White. Honor Graduate Taylor K. Widman. Honor Graduate Brady Parker Williams. Honor Graduate Caroline Saylor Williams. Grace Caroline Williams. Honor Graduate Hannah Elizabeth Williams. Jack Richard Williams. Honor Graduate Jacob Wiley Williams. Jamar Devante Williams. Princess Leia Williams. Wesley Oscar Williams. Skylin Alexandre Willoughby. Paul Daniel Wimmer. Kaylin Ivory Winchester. Jacob Oscar Winokur. Catherine Marie Wooden. Honor Graduate Sophia Ahava Woodrow. Montrenza Woods. Honor Graduate Alexis Marie Woolfolk. Tierra Edziria Jamik Wright. Honor Graduate Ansley Grace Wonderlich. Asa Patrick Yakish. 
Giovanna Apolinario Zenfe, Christian Zuniga, Zuriella Sanchez, It is with great pleasure in leading you in the moving of your tassel. So with your left hand, move your tassel from left to right. Congratulations, seniors. We did it.